looking back to when you both started at the club, what were your main aims? I think when we took over, obviously, become apparent that we just needed to stay up. Um, we obviously were successful in that last season. Throughout the summer, we then obviously it all changed. We've recruited quite well. And now obviously, like we've said before, we want to be pushing in around the playoffs. And do you feel that's how it's been adapted? Last season it was fighting relegation, but this season it is looking towards that more higher end of the league. I was right. It, it was always the, the board and the chairman was quite clear that when we come in, we have 31 games to get the team fourth bottom. We managed to get mid-table, which was the clear aim, and we achieved that. The aim this year is quite hard because obviously there's a lot of competitive sides and there's a lot of teams with big budgets in the league. So, But the aim is to be competitive and it is to be up there. It is to be within the top five. Um, that is our aim this season and hopefully we can achieve that by the end of the year. And even though we do sit third in the league, we've looked competitive in all competitions. What key, what key skills do you feel work best for the team? Uh, in all competitions, we obviously weren't very competitive in the trophy. Um, but yeah, the rest, look, the, the league, we have been very competitive, especially the FA Cup. We were a little bit unfortunate. We lost to a good Hampton and Richmond side. Um, but I think in the league, we have competed in every single game. I don't really think there's been many that we've come away from and felt we fell short. And you've got to remember, we've had some big injuries. I think we counted the other day, we still got six out. We took three or four knocks on Tuesday. So to still be competitive in every competition bar in a trophy is, is very pleasing. And what can you say about the long-term development of some of the individual players? Um, I mean, the squad's quite experienced. So a lot of the lads have played, either played this level or played even higher. Um, so they're kind of looking to maintain that level and looking to be competitive and ultimately those guys they want to they want to win things at this level and they want to be successful um, in terms of the young lads there's a few young lads in there there's a couple on, that we've sent out on loan because uh, those guys obviously are still trying to uh, improve on their development uh, so they've gone to loan clubs so you know the younger players will be trying to play as high as they can I'm sure a couple of them will have still have the professional kind of mindset but the older lads were looking to be successful this year um, so we've tried to have that kind of environment and a kind of mix of a blend of like the youth and the older players and, and so far yeah it's worked quite well. And an exciting academy scheme has also started this year, how crucial do you feel this will be in the coming years? Yeah I think it's um, important, um, The it's just started this year so we know the the setup is going to take uh, a bit of time because you know that those youth academies don't just, just happen overnight, the, the actual quality of the players to get a, a team full of quality to go and compete well in the FA Cup and FA Youth Cup, sorry, and, and to get a few through to the first team might take a couple of years. Uh, but just to get it up and running, get it associated with a club, get Cheshire United, United under 18s is something that me and, me and Mars wanted and, and for it to happen this year. Uh, you know, we're really pleased with it and, you know, we hope it's quite unfortunate because obviously they play fixtures during the day, so I mean, it's quite hard for me and having our job to get to, but uh, we're always keeping an eye on results and fixtures and stuff like that, so hopefully a few of those boys can push on and get to the first team. And how have the coaching staff aided you both? Uh, the, co the coaching staff we've got with us uh, are tremendous, to be honest. We went to a game last week, I think it was there. Um, they're always here on match days and you can't really put um, value on what they offer um, from set pieces you know ha helping out with the warm-ups helping out of training you know they very rarely miss training sessions or games anything like that so that their help is invaluable and the home form form this season has been impressive to say the least what effect do you think this has on the players uh, it's huge uh, to be successful to get in the top five I don't know any side that have got into the top five without having good home form and we, and we, we made that clear from pre-season from straight away when we played our pre-season games we tried to install it into the boys how to play on the pitch and you know how, how to move the ball in a style of play and the boys have adopted that really well I mean we, we dropped points at Harrow was the only points we've dropped and we're disappointed because obviously we dropped it late on so if we're going to be competitive this this season we have to have good home form you know and that, that has to continue um, again on Saturday's going to be a hard game against Farnborough but it's another home game so um, hopefully the points again and looking at that game, Farnborough have shown re resilience through the season. What style are you expecting to see from them? Um, we went, we've seen them a couple of times this season. Um, they get very indifferent results, Farnborough. Um, 
they can be very good and pick up great results like they did last Saturday and then they can, like I said, pick up in different results. We expect the team to come at us on Saturday. Um, they've got lots of pace in the final third that um, have proven against, against teams that they can hurt you. So we're going to have to be right on our game Saturday to keep them out. And if we keep them out, uh, me and Jay believe we can get three points. And a potent win in the Cup in midweek. Does this benefit the team by taking the focus off of the league in this Cup? Yeah, I think we needed it because obviously we had a disappointment in the, in the FA Trophy against Basel doing that was a really disappointing performance. <coughs> and to go out of that competition, something that we didn't want to do. We wanted to have a run in the trophy. Um, and then we didn't play for 10 days because obviously we had a ticket game called, called off. The boys trained hard on the Tuesday, Thursday and the Saturday. So I think that it was w welcome that we had a game on that Tuesday. Uh, I think, I think they got played really well. I think they've got a really good side. But I thought the boys... Uh, adopted the game plan we wanted. I thought it was very clinical, I thought some of the goals were excellent. Uh, it was good for Zach to go off the mark and, and get his goal. Um, I think at the end goal as well, where we played a bit of combination, it's gone wide and gone into Darnell, who's gone and finished, it was a really good goal. So to score four goals at home is great. Obviously, he wanted to keep a clean sheet, given made a penalty, it's a bit disappointing. Uh, but it was a good cup win, really impressed with the boys' performance. Again, we must be in momentum, we must take that winning habit again into Saturday. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers.